Hey guys, it's your pal Tim here at We Love Comics, and this is another exciting episode of Mystery Mail Call. <laughs> yes, that's right, another month, our second month of the Mystery Mail Call offered by Comic Tom and his friends at Comic Tom 101. That's right, we've been investing in the Mystery Mail Call to see if we can sell some of the issues here on the shop to see if it'll be profitable for us. We actually did sell one of the uh, variants that we had from last month's Mystery Mail Call. It was the Lady Hell variant, which sold for $20, which wasn't bad. That's almost half the amount of the subscription service. We still have three issues left. The Captain America was put into our back issue bin. It's a normal comic. These are the variant comics. Every once in a while, you do get a regular comic. You don't always get the variant covers and the virgin covers and all of that goodness. But what we did get last time was a really good selection. We still have, of course, the Scoot book available. We still have the R.L. Stein variant available. And, of course, the Sandy, uh, the, uh, Something is Killing the Children, number 25, David Mack variant, which is really pretty. And, of course, we have a little print. The print usually goes for a low cost just to see if we can recuperate any of that cost from the actual monthly subscription price. So what we got today is a whole new bunch of covers from the mystery mail call let's go ahead and open these up and of course i always like to show that we're opening it up right here we're not trying to add anything new uh let's see what we got here we of course again we've got the comic tom look at that very nice uh -huh. mystery mail call and then of course we've got tape and i didn't bring my scissors so let's see if we can get this open again i'm always forgetting the scissors you know what? I've got something right here. Give me just a second. Let me grab the scissors. I'm way back here in my shop. Got the scissors. Here we go. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. It's very simple to do. Go ahead and set the scissors right there. We don't want to hurt ourselves. And again, you get this wonderful black bag. There we go. There are a couple of nice exclusives. I believe at least one of them will be the Batman Beyond uh, reprint, first appearance of Terry McGinnis. So let's go ahead and reach into the magical black bag of the mystery mail call and see what surprises are in store for us. Let's see what we got here. First book will be Wolverine Origins number 21. This is a Deadpool crossover. So we've got a wonderful Wolverine Deadpool cover. Guys, this might be something here because, uh, you know, you've got the Wolverine Deadpool movie coming out. Uh, amazing. We're going to go ahead and set that one right in the front right here. All right. That's a pretty good book. Wolverine Origins by Daniel Way and Steve Dillon. Um, two wonderful men. Met both of them. Had a couple issues uh, autographed for myself. Uh, this is issue 21. I believe that was a three-part story. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but still, uh, this has a beautiful Bianca cover on it. I'm pretty sure it is a beautiful book. Can you see that, guys? Yep, with Wolverine slashing away at Deadpool, and Deadpool's reeling, but he's uh, prepared with his sword for a counterattack, it seems. We're going to go ahead and put that right there. All right, we're off to a good start, guys. Let's go ahead and reach into the magical bag and see what we have next okay here we go we've got our little card that you can scan feel free to scan it right now if you want to go ahead and subscribe right on guys it's got a cool little boba fett uh piece of artwork on the back we'll go ahead and set that down here let's reach in again oop, oop, one two three four there are five books let's see what we got let's see what we've got okay we've got another scoot book this is the adventures of byron Okay, by Hammer and 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 Broadnack. Uh, this looks like just a regular copy. War of the Rotisserie. Ha ha ha! Very funny. Of course, you know he is a big uh, supporter of all of the Scout books, including the, including the Scoot books. Um, this is a nice, fun book that we can put into our young readers section and sell at cover price. If this, I'm pretty sure this isn't a variant of some sort. We always get one really cool one. Let's see what else we got. Reaching back into the magical bag for book number three. Let's see what we got. Ooh, what is that? Ah, yes, this is the Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers um, exclusive cover. 
Let's see what this one is. I can't remember the name of the artist on this one. Da, 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 da. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 101. Yep, the Comic Tom exclusive. Very cool. Can't remember the name of the cover artist. Francesco Tomaselli. Is that the... No, that's... Is it? Yeah, maybe. Yep. Possibly. Um, oh, wait. No, no, it's not Rose Besh. It's not Rose. No. no. It's the one that he had... Uh, I mean, this is exclusive to Tom, Comic Tom. So it's the one that he had on his website. But I remember it's a Virgin cover, but still Power Rangers. Very cool. Virgin cover. And that is number 101, or did I say 102? My apologies. That is 101, because we're beginning the whole new... Wow, this is a, apropos, is it not? Um, we've got Rita Repulsa on the cover. You know, again, you know, we lost a Power Ranger uh, this month. We, we lost Tommy. Um, Jason David Frank, such a sad story. Um, you know, let's uh, keep him in our hearts and prayers, him and his family. Of course, um, well, I really don't know what else to say about that one. But that's so far. We've got a nice variant cover. Let's reach back into that magical plastic bag. Oh, oh I think this is our print. Ooh, look at that. Ah, Black Panther. What is that? Shuri, that's Shuri. Uh, 2204 of 3000. Very cool. Look at that beautiful, beautiful print. Right on. We're just going to go ahead and set that one right there. So that's one, two, three, four. I think we got two more books left. Let's see what we got here. The next book is oh, Facing Me. And of course, yes, it is that uh, Batman Beyond. That's a nice looking book there. Let me tell you, the Batman Ben. I believe this is the reprint of Batman Beyond number one. First appearance of Terry McGinnis. It's a beautiful, beautiful cover. Um yeah look at that it is nice it displays really well i don't think this is going to last very long on my shelf at all let's go ahead and put this one right here so we've got two really nice covers in this really cool wolverine deadpool uh book i'm not sure possibly it could be we'll see let's go ahead and um oh, sorry let's get that off the screen last but not least the last issue is Ooh, dude. Oh, yes. This is the Perio cover. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. That's the virgin variant of the Perio cover. Oh, yes. This is that new that new book. Let's see what this is. Yeah. Exclusive cover. Dynamite Sirens Gate from Dynamite. Beautiful, beautiful book. Art by Lucio Perillo. Perillo, there you go. Oh, that is a gorgeous book. So we got another virgin, and I believe they were giving trade dress and virgins of this one. We were able to acquire a virgin cover of this one. I think I already got this one sold, guys. That's that, I, I think somebody's been wanting this one. My uh, Perillo uh, uh, fans out there. So look what we've got here. So we've got the Wolverine Origins, issue number 21, the team-up or... The verses between Wolverine and Deadpool, big book, possibly. We've got The Adventures of Byron. I believe this is a one-shot from Scoot. Um, nice, fun kids' book. Kids' books always sell on the kids' rack. Uh, there's always something interesting for them, and I can always use more children-friendly books from Scoot. And then, of course, we've got this wonderful Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 101 exclusive cover with Rita Repulsa. Very, um, very beautiful. Then we've got this really cool Shuri print um, by Nate. Ooh, Nate. Good old Nate. Thanks, Nate. Um, beautiful purples and and pinks and, and, and grays. And then, of course, we've got the Batman Beyond number one, which is fantastic. Reprinting that important story of Terry McGinnis's first appearance. I wonder how many of these they printed. There might be less of these than there were of the original run of Batman Beyond number one. Hmm, I need to look into that. And then, of course, we got this beautiful Sirens Gate uh, variant color by Lucio Perillo. Fantastic. This is a great, great 
uh, mystery mail call, in my opinion. I think, I mean, $45, I think I'll be able to get that back. No problem whatsoever. I think I've got two probably guaranteed sales right here. This is so far working out. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, so far I'm only in for last week. Last month's was, I see, about $25, but still plenty of books left on the shelf. And then, of course, $45. So we're going to keep uh, showing you the averages and seeing you where we're at and where we, if we're ahead of the game, behind the game after this six months trial run. Now, remember, we're also using this right over here, which is anti-heroes variant. We, I just made some huge purchases with anti-hero. And as you can see, we already sold, you know, one of the virgin variants. We also sold one of the trade dress variants. And then these are actually uh, not part of that series, but they're on there anyway because it's an exclusive cover. But we've actually done some selling of these over here, and we're just about at the halfway mark on that one too. I believe we sold them at uh, one was uh, twenty or nineteen ninety nine, and the other one was twenty nine ninety nine. So that's yeah, twenty nine, thirty, forty, fifty. That's fifty bucks. I think I had eighty dollars invested, including shipping. So. Yeah, we're doing pretty good on these variant cover books. And like I said, I just placed a huge order because they had their Black Friday deal where you can, you know, uh, uh, I think it's up to 25 books in one pack or one really expensive book. And it was really nice. And you buy two, get one free. So I got a possibility of getting 75 variant covers because I bought two packages of their random 25 book selection that Antihero was providing their 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 buyers. I mean, I mean 75 variant covers, my goodness. I spent a little bit of money, granted it was just under $200, but my goodness, I think that would go great. And I, I actually have one from the previous months that I'm waiting uh, to come with some beautiful Power Girl variant covers as well. So, we'll come back to this one, but again, our mystery mail call for November is fantastic. So far, it's been working out. Uh, keep in touch with us. Check back with us to make sure uh, we're uh, uh, continually uh, updating what's going on here with our mystery mail call for the next six months. So we're going to be well into 2023 uh, going in with this exercise to see whether or not we can make a little bit of profit and maybe even keep one or two copies for the store or myself, you know, from comic tom's mystery mail call right on well check us out next time remember to like comment and subscribe so everybody in the tampa bay area knows what cool comics you can discover right here at we love comics until next time guys going for the button take care and happy holidays